that we know how to create collections on the desktop and then synchronize those collections to Lightroom Mobile, it's time to take a look at how we might modify collections on the mobile device, create new collections, pull images from our camera roll, and then synchronize them with the desktop. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a new collection. I'll tap on the plus icon, and then we'll name this collection Bike. I want to move to another collection in order to select some images to add to the bike collection. As you can see, I can choose to either copy the images or move them. In this case, I'll go ahead and move them, and I can either tap to select individual images, or I can tap and drag or swipe to select multiple images. Once I have my images selected, I can then click on the arrow and tell Lightroom Mobile which collection to put them in. When I tap the check mark and we return back to the bike collection, you can see that there are 10 photos in that bike collection. If we move back to the Japan collection, we'll also notice that those images have actually been removed from this collection. There's another way to create a collection on Lightroom Mobile as well, and that is if you're already in a collection and you simply want to move or copy some images from this collection to a new one, we can tap on the same icon in the upper right, choose Copy To in this case, and then select the images that we want to copy. You'll notice that as soon as I click in order to copy those, I can then choose New Collection. I don't actually want to do that right now, but I wanted to make sure that you knew that there were both of those ways to add new collections. Let's return back to the bike collection for a moment. And in this case, I want to remove an image. So I'll use the icon in the upper right, and I'm going to choose Remove. This image is blurry, so I'll select it, and then tap the trash can icon. Now it's important to note that Lightroom Mobile will remove this image from the collection but your original is still there. So when Lightroom Mobile and the desktop app are in sync, this image will no longer be in the collection, but of course your original will still be in the folder. Now let's return to the desktop app and take a look at what's happened. When we look at our Japan collection, you can see there's no longer any bikes in it, and we have a new collection set called from Lightroom Mobile. Inside that collection set is the new collection of bikes. If I wanted to add additional images, I could go up to the catalog and do a quick search on all of my images, for example, for bicycles. Then I'll select these first two images and I'll add them to the bike collection. When we look back at our collection now on Lightroom Mobile, we can see that those two images have now been added. If I want to rename a collection, I simply click on the three dots here in Lightroom Mobile and then choose to rename. In this case, I'll rename this bicycle. And tap OK. And of course, that change will be synchronized with the desktop app. If I didn't want this collection anymore, I could always choose to remove the collection, but let's leave it here for now. Tapping anywhere, we'll go ahead and close those options. Now let's go ahead and create another new collection. In this case, I'm going to call it Encaustic because I just took some photographs with my iPad and I want to add them to this collection. I can now add images from my camera roll. So I'll select these three images and those become part of the collection. Now, if I know that I'm going to be taking more photographs, I might want to enable the auto import. By doing this, I can then take a photograph. So I'm going to turn on my camera and we'll take a photograph of this piece of art. And then we can return back to Lightroom Mobile and we can see that that image that I just photographed with the iPad was automatically imported into this collection. Now, at any point in time, I can also turn that off by simply going back to the collection and choosing Disable Auto Import. Now, I just want to make sure that you realize that when I enabled that, 
Lightroom is only going to automatically import images that you photograph from then on. It doesn't bring in all of the old images in your camera roll. Now let's move back to our desktop and you can see that a secondary collection has been created. This is the encaustic collection. But because these images originated on the iPad and not on the computer, you'll also notice that in the folder area, there's a new header that says Julianne's iPad, and in fact, there are the imported photos. So when you use Lightroom Mobile to auto import or you manually go and import images from your camera roll, you need to know that what's being copied up to the cloud is the entire original file, and then that will be copied down to your local device. So you'll have a copy locally on your desktop machine. Excellent. You now know how to make new collections, move your photographs between collections, and auto import from your camera all on Lightroom Mobile and how that synchronizes with the desktop app. My name is Julianne Koss. Thanks for joining me.